Alrighty, y'all. We down here uh, headed into the swamp. Mosquitoes were terrible. And uh, we just missed a huge storm. It really didn't even sprinkle here, but I could tell it was ugly. I sat in the truck watching it go by. This is the only evening I'll get to hunt this week. So I was hoping I could, if nothing else, I'd make a really quick hunt. And uh, I really don't mind getting wet. I don't want to hunt in the rain, but I don't mind getting wet if I'm in there and coming out or whatever. But I don't like them lightning bolts. And it was a rumbling pretty bad while ago. But maybe, maybe we can make a short hunt down in here. We got our, our self bow here. And uh, we we'll ease down here and see if we can find us a pig, all right? Hopefully, uh, the weather will hold. You can tell it's ugly. It ain't pretty by no means, and that's the good side right there. <laughs> but we'll see. If it, uh, if it goes to raining, we'll just go to the house. Let's go see if we can find a pig real quick. Swamp is dark in here with it leafed out. And uh, overcast too. That'll make it easier to sneak up on something. They seem to feel more secure when it looks later like this. We're gonna find out. <laughs> Maybe let's see something. Well, he's in here. I'm gonna we got a good wind. And it's actually the rumbling seems to be at a distance. It was back over there by my buddy Julian's house. I hope he didn't get no bad weather over there. But we will uh, ease on in the bottom here. We're kind of on the upper, upper part of it now. Man, there's a lot of sign. That's more out. Working our way down into the deep swamp. Walking in sign like that makes you feel pretty good. Almost bought my, my uh, northern mist hill style bow. Cause some people say that the humidity is bad on the self bows, but heck, I see Clay Hayes, Ryan Gill, them guys all hunt with self bows all the time. And if I'm going to hunt with these things, I got to get confidence in it. And if I'm going to get confidence in it, the only way to do that is bring it. I got it sealed up best I can. This they say this Osage is the king, and as far as building them, I can tell you from my experience, it is. But I will see how it holds up. I'm pretty sure it'll be good. I had some issues with it earlier. That was my fault. But I think we got that straight now. Good gracious, that's a big sign. Really good. We'll get on some peas this evening with all this sun in here.
there's a lot of fresh sign in here. A lot of here's a little remnant over there. I hope you'll be all right. Look at all the sign. Maybe he'll be up stirring. Be in a pretty thick place on purpose. It's like a river cane, but yet you can still see a little bit. It's starting to rumble a little hard. Maybe to go around this way in here far enough. If it rains, we're going to get wet. <laughs> I keep finding persimmon trees. I'm on a management area. I don't hunt much. And uh, I've been telling you all, all my videos. I keep checking this thing out from all angles here. And I keep finding persimmon trees. That's a pretty good tree there. Got trails coming right there to it. And, uh, I, just, I don't know how look where the limbs are dropping out at on it right here. The grass is beat down from last year. Look right here. So that one there shows some promise for sure. But I keep on finding them, so I really, really, really look forward to deer season this September. Lord willing, we'll, we'll lay with these persimmons. Didn't get to hunt them much last year, but we're going to get on them this year. I did kill one on persimmon last year. Let's keep on hunting. I hear it. I don't know if y'all can hear it rumbling, but it's rumbling. But I ain't heard no sharp lightning bolts or nothing like that. So we'll keep on going. Maybe we'll find one. It's humid. I'm sweating. Y'all hear that? It's time to go. We'll head on back to the truck. Kind of wait it out, but it's done darkened up. And them lightning bolts ain't cool. Let's work our way on up out of here and be safe. This may be a short video. If it is, I apologize. At least we made a little dip in the woods. And hog sign just, oh my goodness. Starting to rain a little bit right now too. So let's work our way on out. And uh, see if we can get on one. Uh, supposed to be able to go hunting three days next week. So that's the plan. Well now, we made it out alive. <laughs> it's a raining for sure. We was in there about a half a mile. I, I managed to get soaking wet. But uh, it's all good. I kind of expected it. Not complaining. But I'm going to give you a tip right quick. I always carry a compass with me. And uh, I was in. The woods got dark. Everything, you know. And I said, well, I'm going to see what I can do with my phone. Because I got this stuff on your phone now. And so I had my phone out and got a good direction and everything. And then it's raining. Cats and dogs. You can't keep your phone dry in there. Not and use it. And my phone went to acting completely stupid. And I would have been in a bind if that was all I had to go on. You pull out the old trusted compass and go. So uh, basically, don't put all your eggs in one basket. Have you a couple of ways to navigate and not let it be just your phone. And I got a GPS too, but I, I never use it. I'm too proud to use it. But I have used it a couple times when I was actually turned around, and that was at night. But don't put all your, your hope and faith in your phone. Have you a compass? Learn how to read it. It was a good evening. I saw a lot of sign in there. And I say evening. I think we wasn't in there an hour. But, uh, and it come a storm like I kind of expected it to. And I mean, it come quick, too. But, uh, anyway, it's a short video, but it's all I can do today. Thank y'all for watching, and, uh, the lesson in this video, there's two of them. Number one is don't, don't just navigate with your phone and have a backup. And number two, God is always good. Thank you, Lord. See y'all next time.